Right, we're around, <coughs> we're finally on the uh, holiday again, after a hiatus of uh, 18 months. But the uh, El Dorado Royale in uh, Mexico on the Yucatan Peninsula is a very nice, uh, very nice resort. I'll take you on a bit of a tour of the grounds, but I'll probably split this into a few parts because it's, uh, it's a really big uh, resort. So we're just at the, uh, the lobby, outside lobby area. The lobby there. There's some nice wide features there. Well, I'll say there's a bit of gardening noise going on. Hopefully you can hear this. Uh, around these kind of uh, sweeping steps. Looking a bit of water there, but I don't think it's uh, supposed to swim in it. It's a bit of a waterfall. All the tight steps there. And there's a, there's a restaurant basically on either side here. There's one down there and then one uh, on, the, on the other side. So we'll just follow, uh, follow this route down. It's a really tropical, um, tropical feeling resort here. Oh. Um, lots of palm trees, lots of greenery, lots of plants, uh, lots of water features. So one thing you've got to be careful of though is that there's so much buggy traffic. You've got to watch your back. There's actually more traffic than there is on the uh, lane we live on, which is kind of, uh, kind of funny. Yeah. So the uh, El Dorado, uh, I love El Dorado uh, scenery. These are all uh, room blocks of the standard rooms, well, luxury junior suites as they call them. The, uh, the resort's actually split into two sections. There's this, which is adult only, then there's the the seaters, which is also adults only, but they're uh, more expensive rooms, a bit more, well, quite a lot more market dollars to it. And then at the far end is Generations, which is a family resort. Um, we had a quick wander down there, and it seems to be more like a kind of tower block, about five floors maybe. Um, a little, I don't know, I think it's maybe just a bar here, a little bit under for the seating. It's a little bit confusing when you're a guest here is because some places um, are only for certain types of guests. Um, I guess if you're either in some kind of uh, upgraded room or a member of some some kind of privileged uh, membership, repeat guests, that kind of thing. So we're just coming down now towards the, uh, towards the beach. Full uh, cabanas, and there's a pizza restaurant just over there as well. Um, I'm going to turn back with uh, another route because there's some music going now. I don't want a copyright claim. Um, not too sure what this is here. Oh, it's an art gallery by the looks of it. Uh, apparently they probably serve Starbucks. Um, this being Mexico, what you tend to find around the kind of uh, the bars by the the pools and the beaches that uh, tend to have music playing. It's not too bad, but it's, it's certainly not as laid back as the kind of places we would normally go to. Um, but this was a fairly last minute fucking one seat travel restrictions in the UK had uh, eased. 
Funny enough, actually, we did uh, look at this hotel over 12 years ago, and then somehow Mexico just dropped off the radar for us. Bit of a pain, and apparently, YouTube will sometimes uh, mute the sound on a video if it picks up a copyright claim for music, even though it's just playing in the background of the environment. It's a bit, a bit crackers, but there you go. Hello, hello. Um, up here, there's a there's a tennis court up there. Uh, we've got to be quite brave to be playing tennis at the minute because the temperature is well into the late twenties. Um, it's fairly humid as well, so you know, there's a couple of guys giving it a go. So. Stuff over here up, up ahead. Just coming, uh, coming around to near our room block. There's sort of various uh, sculptures and sort of plant, plant things here. Um, I must admit, it's a, it's a really, uh, really nice grounds. Yeah, you can see that they put a lot of effort into keeping them nice. Um, the buggy there. Hola. Hola. It's one of the uh, buggy stops. Not these you can wait for a buggy, although you can end up waiting longer than it takes to walk though. Um, so I have a room block up there. Hola. Hello. <clears throat> Some people look like they've uh, got birthdays and anniversaries with a uh, thing on the doors of the rooms. And then up here there's a the concierge hut there. Um, there seems to be a concierge hut for sort of one or more room blocks. Um, there's another one up here as well. Yeah, there's another one. Okay, so I split the grounds. I'll do another uh, another two or three videos of the pools and the beach and so on. <laughs> 